One of the very most common questions I get from clients and from those who book coaching calls with me alike, how do I get an ASIN by ASIN or SKU by SKU breakdown on the performance of my Amazon advertising? Well, the bad news is Amazon does not provide that for you in the current API. The good news is there are many for-profit widgets that you can purchase, software licenses that will allow that, that will provide that for you, or you can watch this short video and learn how to do it for yourself for free very quickly in under five minutes. It's super easy. We'll dive right in. My name is Matt Davis. I'm the director of advertising here at My Amazon Guy. Let's get started. Share my screen with you here. All right. So from your main Seller Central page, there's a couple ways to get at this. Uh, you want your advertising reports. You can get them from here, reports, advertising reports, or if you're already in your, KP, uh, your campaign manager, your advertising API, from here, you'd go to this uh, column widget over here to the left, measurements and reporting, reports. All right, and we're going to create a report. And it doesn't matter which product type you select, which campaign type, right? You're probably running a variety of campaign types. We will probably, you'll usually start with sponsored products. This is the meat and potatoes of Amazon advertising by volume and by spend. This is probably the largest amount of campaign types that you're using. Um, you're probably making use of more sponsored product campaigns than any other. But as you can see here, any type of campaign breakdown that you want to look at, whether it's sponsored brand or sponsored display, you can absolutely do that too. Now the report type, we want to get off of search term and we want to go to advertised product, right? This is what products of ours we are advertising, right? Um, the summary is fine. And then the report period, we really want to cut down. Um, it depends on what time, what, what the time period is that you're trying to look at. Um, for Monster, this is a big account in terms of number of campaigns. We do a lot of testing on this account. So I'm going to go ahead and make it just the last seven days so we don't spend too much time waiting on the report to generate. Check here. This all looks good. You can name it something custom if you want to. You can send it out. Uh, you can give it to email addresses if you want to share it around with your other team members. Um, schedule the time to send that out. All fun stuff. Okay. So you click run report. We are going to hit refresh until that dash line looks like something we can download. The bigger the file is, the longer it takes. That looks pretty quick. All right. So this is our advertised product report. We're going to pull this up real quick. All right. So as you can see here, this is all your different campaign types, when they started, their portfolio name, right? And here you have the advertised SKU or the advertised ASIN. This is the information that we're really interested in with this report, as well as some seven day, seven day data. Right. OK, so um, I'm going to do an extra step for calculating a cost and conversion. It's important to note that these reports always bring back seven day data um, performance data. So just be aware of that. Make sure that you are properly calculating your time windows. Um, it will show you over here. Right. What the time window is. So, okay, so creating pivot tables is a little bit different depending on whether you're in Excel or uh, a CSV sheet or a Google sheet. It doesn't matter which way, just figure out which program you're in, find pivot tables. So in Excel, it's just insert pivot table, right? You don't need to mess with the ranges. You can change the name if you want, create it on a new worksheet, on an existing, uh, existing worksheet. Okay, so now it's gonna give us this pivot table creation here. And the first thing we'll look for is Either advertise SKU or advertised ASIN, depending on what you're looking for, right? Um, SKU is going to be necessary, particularly in big, count, big accounts or in accounts where there are a lot of parent and child variations. Um, the SKU level is going to allow you to see down to those individual child variants more clearly, probably than the ASINs. But just to keep it simple right here, and for the purposes of this report, the SKU isn't needed. So we'll do advertised ASIN for this demonstration. But know that you can select either, depending on what it is you want to highlight. All right, so now this gives us a bunch of uh, rows here. You can see it automatically drops it into our rows column. I'm going to very quickly rename this to advertised base, right? Just so we know what we're looking at here. Widen that out. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some performance data. And really, you can grab as much data as you want. Certainly, right, if you want to grab impressions or you want to see the full suite, grab all of these, right? But for the purposes of this demonstration, we want to see primarily clicks, Spend, seven day orders, or total orders, right? In this case, it's seven day, and total sales, right? Okay, so then we are going to copy these values and paste them in a new tab. 
you don't have to do this, but this is just so you have a static report that's not dynamically being impacted by the by the pivot table as it moves, right? Um, okay, so then you've got your ASIN by ASIN breakdown here. And again, some sort of summary seven day data. And you can organize this however you like based on what you're trying to get accomplished, right? So really quickly, we'll do ACOS and we'll do CVR conversion rate, right? Um, some of the reports will have this built in, but you wanna check the numbers again, make sure the time window matches up with the, uh, with the time window that you wanna look at. So then for ACOS, right, we're gonna do total spend. So this is gonna equal total spend divided by total sales, right? That gets you that, change this to a percentage. And I normally like to go two decimal places out, right? So that 11% becomes 10.59 and there's my ACOS, right? Um, so you would do that control C, control shift down for the others and then conversion rate, right? Total number of orders, sorry, total number of clicks. No, I had that right, total number of orders divided by total number of clicks. So it's gonna be equals number of orders divided by number of clicks. And then we're also gonna change this one to a percentage. And again, I'll give it two decimals. And there's your conversion rate, right? And you can match that up. Three total orders on 13 clicks, right? About 23%, right? Um, if it were 12, it would be one and four, right? It'd be 25%. So, and then you control control C, control shift down, and that'll copy paste these formulas, right? All the way down. So that's it. That's how you do it. And then you can have an ASIN by ASIN breakdown here, right? Over the last seven days. I know this ASIN is currently converting at 11% ACOS, converting at 23% conversion. Um, we spent eight bucks. Oh, that's the other thing you can do really quickly if you want to make it more simple. Don't need to, but right? Like you can make it clear that just so you know what type of numbers you're working with, right? And that'll change the format. Um, I would suggest waiting until you've done your conversions to mess with those. Um, but so you can see, right? Spent seven bucks, made 75 in sales, right? And so you can sort of roughly check those, I check those numbers. So that's it. That's how you get an ASIN by ASIN breakdown real quick and easy using pivot tables. My name is Matt Davis. I'm the director of advertising here at My Amazon Guy. And for more tips, tricks, and tools on how to build your Amazon account as big and strong and as profitable as it could possibly be, go to our YouTube channel. We have a plethora of information there. Go to our myamazonguy.com, book a coaching call, sign up for a free consultation. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Have a great day.